偽物欲望。Guilty pleasures. We all have them, whether it's movies, music, or games. We all have that one thing we secretly love, but would just die if anyone else knew about it. We've put together a top list of five guilty pleasure video games we secretly enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you'll never miss another Club It video. Let's go back to 2005. Rats were the hottest thing on the toy scene. I'm sure many of us have vivid memories of getting home after a long day at school, booting up the PS2, and unlocking our passion for fashion with the Bratz Rock Angels. Created to coincide with the film of the same name, you could create new fashion and makeup looks for the runway, model in photo shoots, and travel the world with your best friends. Then came 2006. And the hotly anticipated sequel took the stage. Bratz Forever Diamonds introduced new destinations and new opportunities to expand your fashion horizons, and you could even adopt a dog to help you along the way. Bratz Magazine, I'd like to adopt a pet today. That's no. How is it? Dead or Alive is a fighting game with a long and at times controversial history. First released in 1996, Dead or Alive is a fluid and fast fighting game that soon became known for other things than its fighting credentials. <laughs> Despite its lewd reputation, Dead or Alive remains to this day a fun and challenging fighting game. With memorable characters full of personality and charm, Dead or Alive remains to be a fighting game loved by many, even if they won't admit it. Oh dear, this is terrible. Tokyo is really scary. <coughs> What the hell are you thinking? You're gonna get yourself killed. 誰かと思えば選ぶのに苦労したのよ。あら悪いわね。もらっておくわ。さよなら。Now, in 2003, the Dead or Alive team took their fighting game's lewd reputation and decided to turn it up to 11 with Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. <laughs> Featuring the infamous Dead or Alive girls, this game was created to serve no other purpose than to titillate its male audience. And despite this, The result is still a deceptively fun sports game that you can find yourself sinking hours into. But you might not want to tell your friends you've been sinking hours into this one, and we definitely wouldn't suggest playing it around your parents. Oh no! I look terrible. Can you help me? Many people don't see games for girls as a huge market, but those people must have not seen the vast array of online browser games for girls all over the web. There are games to unleash your inner makeup artist, find your passion for nail art, or dress up your favorite princesses. While loving these games as a kid, I do look back and ask myself, what was I thinking? These games also have some of the craziest variety of almost any genre, and some of the games are just plain weird. While we have no explanation for what any of that is, many of these games still remain to be fun ways to pass the time and nostalgic reminders of our childhood. Right on time. Licensed games have always had a bad reputation, and especially those games that are made from TV shows. While there have been some that have shined, you shouldn't have come back 'cause I've been saving up a big hunk and serving a whoop ass just for you. Glad you're here. It was getting a bit heavy to carry around. There have unfortunately been many, many flops. What's wrong? You look fine to me. Look, here's some water. Now please, leave me alone. Is she hiding something from me? 
Alias is neither of these. Alias is one of those perfectly mediocre games that many of us will remember, but it's the nostalgia for the iconic 2000 series that keeps us coming back for more with this one. With an array of disguises and stealth manoeuvres at your disposal, you truly feel like you could take on the role of Sydney Bristow herself, making this an unforgettable experience for those who actually played it. Dispatch, I need backup. <laughs> She can have the blast. <laughs> Those were our picks for some of the best guilty pleasure video games on the market. Let us know in the comments some of your biggest guilty pleasure video games, if you dare to admit them.